The Delta variant of COVID-19 continues to spread, and that's making some places change up their recommendations. Right now, Los Angeles County is strongly recommending people who are vaccinated even wear masks indoors. The CDC estimates the Delta variant now accounts for about 20% of all new cases. Experts say wearing masks is reasonable because not everyone is vaccinated. Hmm. Well, as far as staying protected, new research suggests that immunity from mRNA vaccines could last for years. Amanda Fay breaks it down. One of the big mysteries surrounding the coronavirus vaccines is how long immunity will last. Now scientists say they have solved that mystery, and the news is good, at least for some. Let's connect the dots. The new results were just published in the journal Nature. Researchers believe the Myrna vaccines could provide protection against COVID-19 for the long term. We're talking about the shots produced by Pfizer and Moderna. The study did not look at the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but the lead researcher to the New York Times said he did not believe the immune response from that shot would be as durable. According to the findings, it looks like the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines created a persistent immune reaction in the body, an immunity that could last years. Researchers reported people who had those shots may not need to get a booster dose as long as the virus doesn't evolve drastically from its current forms. Scientists also believe that the immunity provided by the vaccines is actually better than the immunity provided by getting infected with the coronavirus. And that's because it's more diverse, meaning it will do a better job fighting variants. But the best possible immunity appears to be people who were vaccinated and recovered from COVID-19. Their immunity could last a lifetime. For WTOL 11, I'm Amanda Fay. There are a lot of opportunities to get the vaccine this week, and that includes right now at Roosevelt Pool. The Tartar bus has both Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson shots there until 6 tonight. And then tomorrow there is a walk-in clinic at the health department until 3 plus the Tartar bus will be out at Tony Paco's on Front Street from 4 until 7. The vaccine is free and there is no need to make an appointment. Planning to